Hi, me again. Uh, sorry I haven't been as on these. I've been apologizing for that a lot lately, but, you know, I've had some personal stuff going on, and, uh, some professional stuff as well. Um, but let's go ahead and tear into another one. This is going to be number 12. Hard to believe we're that far on now. Um, Bob was, uh, was asking us, um, uh, is it true that Al Gore invented the internet? Um, and it, it really is a, a lot simpler of a question than most people realize. If, if You've got to remember, though, that words matter. Did Al Gore invent the Internet? No, he didn't. Um, did he create the Internet as we now know it? He played a very important role in it. And I'm actually kind of passionate about this because I'm from eastern Tennessee, and so is Al Gore. Um, not the biggest fan of his wife. Uh, well, soon to be ex-wife's uh, views on music from the 1980s. However, um, Al Gore was one of what was called the Atari Democrats. They were they were huge into the idea of of information technology changing the world, and he always had a big concern about uh, the debate going on about people having access to technology. So what he did was, along with some venture capitalists, he came up with some. Uh, very specific legislation that he introduced and drafted. It's the uh, it's actually called the High Performance Computing Act of uh, 1991. I'll, I'll put the, the link in the description. Um, uh, but basically what that did was that took something that already existed for the military uh, and, and government and opened it up. Uh, at that point the internet was born from that. Uh, if it had not been for that legislation then no, you would not be on the internet right now watching YouTube. Um, the idea behind it was it would be this big collaborative tool that we could all have free information and access to it on. Uh, and I, I would almost call it a, an emergent uh, concept uh, of people being able to get that information. Um, this is very important to me personally because what we have to remember is that with my age um, there are a lot of people on YouTube who are a little bit younger than me um, and who've never really known a, a post-pubescent world that didn't have the internet or cable TV. Um, when I was young we didn't even have VCRs. Uh, I would fantasize about being able to fast forward through commercials when I was very young. Uh, the, the idea behind having access to all information, good or bad, all opinions, all the time, um, uh, I, I really would uh, would shudder to think of what would be different if we didn't have that. It makes the world a much smaller place. It makes communication immediate. It makes uh, us able to to look up ideas all at once. Now, what Al Gore did was he opened this up. It was called Usenet. Uh, at that time. It had some other names before that, and I'm, I'm sure if you actually Googled around for the, uh, uh, the the birth of the internet, you'd get a lot of different people saying that they invented it, but um, you'd have to break it into which part of it. Um, as with most types of science, uh, you'd have to look into who first created the TCPIP protocol, you'd have to look into who created computers in general, you'd have to look at um, uh, well, all the way down to Bill Gates for inventing the end-user license agreement. Um, but for breaking that open and making it available, that is something that Al Gore can, can take at least partial credit for uh, in terms of introducing that legislation. He is the lawmaker who said, hey, let's do this. And that's that's kind of huge. In my opinion, it's actually bigger than his uh, entire movement of global climate change. Um, so, uh, yeah, and it, it's kind of nice to think about that someone from the mountains of Tennessee uh, was instrumental in making all this possible. And whether you use the Internet to um, stay on top of the latest scientific events, to coordinate with friends, or just to find out if Lindsay Lohan is in rehab again, it's it's something where one person made that big of a difference, um, and, and I think that's one of the things that really makes uh, our country, uh, the United States, uh, potentially uh, a standout. And the reason I say potentially a standout is because a lot of other countries are, are doing what we 
uh, are famous for in the United States, which is, I'll take the best of this and the best of this and look at this. This is a whole new concept based on that. Um, I'm not an elitist when it comes to the United States, but I am kind of patriotic because it's where I'm from. I would expect someone from Australia to do the same thing. And I do have some friends over in Australia who like to give me the one up because they have Tim Minchin and I'm kind of upset about that. He only has four concert dates in the U.S. I, I guess he's scared of uh, the fundamentalists. Anyway, um, yeah, I would be too. Uh, but I digress. Yes, Al Gore did play a significant role in the creation of the internet that you now know. And and on this internet, we can exchange ideas and even hurl insults at each other and everything. Uh, so it's kind of awesome. We can also go over to ExoticEnvy.com and buy adult novelties at, at way below retail prices. Uh, so if you're over 18 and, uh, and are so inclined to go ahead and just jump over there and take a look at that uh it's www.exoticnv.com link in the description and uh I'm, I'm gonna ask i don't usually ask but if if anyone likes this video hit like if you don't like it feel free to hit the dislike button but leave a comment saying why um because we're trying to improve this as we go uh, and uh also if you feel so inclined just go to my channel by clicking on you know the little well, it's over here. Uh, clicking on my name up there, and it'll take you to the channel, and you can hit subscribe, so you can choose to be notified when we put more of these up, because we're not going on any regular basis anymore. Uh, it's just whenever I can get them out. Um, thanks very much. Welcome to all our new subscribers, and you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.